VoiceOver Coffee Shop, episode 20. Welcome to the VoiceOver Coffee Shop, where we share our morning with some of the finest names in voiceover. And now, here's your host, voice actor Andrew Morrison. Hi there, my name is Andrew Morrison, and welcome to the VoiceOver Coffee Shop, where we start our day with some of the finest names in voiceover. If you'd like to know more about me, feel free to visit my personal website at www.voicebard.com. In this episode, we have coffee with my dear friend, Tom Aglio. Tom is your millennial voice next door, who has lent his talents to Fortune 500 companies, explainer videos, video games, animation, and much, much more. In this episode, we talk about the most valuable resource to your clients, the principles of voiceover marketing, and emails and follow-ups. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. I'm excited. <laughs> Happy to have you here, man. So how are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know, busy. I'm, uh, you know, I'm a, uh, my son is going to be seven months and, uh, I don't think I've slept the last seven months, so I'm tired, <laughs> but, um, no, everything's good, man. Business is busy. Um, you know, it's, I, I can't complain. I'm, 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 it's, it's, it's been, it's been a good year. Awesome. So yeah. how do you take your coffee in the mornings? Oh man, black coffee. That's it. Black coffee. I'm, 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 I'm a plain guy. Um, that's, I love, I just, I love, I just love like, uh, I love just the rich taste of black coffee mm. and, um, I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't do any of those creamers, man. I just can't do it. <laughs> so you started in the corporate world. How did yes. that lead into you diving into voiceover? Sure. So, I mean, I've been, I've been acting my whole life. You know, I, I done, I did theater forever. I did some on camera and all that good stuff. Um, you know, and, and I had always loved video games and animation and all and everything. And, you know, people had always told me like, you know, you have a nice voice. You really should look into voiceover. Um, you know, and at the time, I'm, I'm, I'll fully admit, I was like, you know, I, I want to be a real actor. I'm not, I don't want to be a voiceover actor. And, um, you know, I was a jerk. And, and then finally, you know, I just, my, my then girlfriend, now wife, you know, eventually was like a few years ago, she was like, you know, you, you've been talking about it. You really should try it out. And I just, you know, kind of built like a little makeshift studio in my in-laws basement. And it just, it just took off from there. So, so it was it always something I was interested in, but you know, I never, I, I needed the push, I think, to get into it. So when you did make that leap, was it like yeah. a big risk leap or was it like a slow transition? Um, no, you know, it was, I had, I had, uh, I had stopped doing, like I did theater for a while and I kind of was like stopped doing it for a little bit just cause it was so time consuming. Um, and, uh, it was kind of like, it was, it was, it was a leap in that it was like, I dove right into it and really just, you know, hit the ground running with making the demo and coaching and all that good stuff. Um, you know, but I still held on to my day job and everything like that. Um, you okay. know, while, while I built up like my client base and everything. So how do you feel like your, um, your time in the corporate world has yeah. led you to be able to kind of communicate to other people in the corporate world when you're yeah. marketing and doing your booking? It's been great. I mean, honestly, you know, it's, it's funny. It's like, you know, even, even, even a job that is just so far from the creative, you can find things that will help in your, in your, in your industry, you know, and it's called show business for a reason. Right. And I think that being in the corporate world, helped because I know a lot of the best practices of dealing with corporate America, because a lot of times my clients are, you know, fortune 500 companies, the, the end clients themselves, it's not always a production company or an ad agency, like an in-between person. Um, so it helped, I helped, I learned the best practices. I learned what works and doesn't work in terms of emailing, the timing, the following up and all that good stuff. Uh, and believe it or not, you know, I, I, I learned a lot of good Excel skills um, in, in my corporate job. And that really, really, really helped me stay organized in my business, you know, and it, cause it, it helps, it helped my bookkeeping, you know, before I kind of got sophisticated with it and stuff. Um, it honestly just helped me run the, the, the business at the day to day level. So I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for it. So when you are marketing your business, how are yeah. you portraying the value of what you do as a voiceover artist to these fortune 500 companies? So what I do is, you know, I, I, I look at what is a buyer's most important resource like what is the most valuable thing to them and it's something that i teach my students and and the answer is time you know time is the one thing that they can't create themselves and you can't really create it but you can give it back to them whether it's time saved in you know your turnaround time they know that they can go to you because they needed you know they're at the 11th hour and they know that you'll turn around that project 
in you know in under an hour and and they don't have to worry about it time saved and that you can knock out an hour long directed session in 15 minutes you know and they get extra time back there time saved in in you know your response time you're very communicative and, and they don't they they don't need to worry that they're gonna have to wait for you to to go back and forth with them so that's how i kind of try to present my business and i try to present myself is that i am there to save them time and time's the thing that all of us wish we had more of in every sense of the word um you know so i, I want to make it known to them that i can save them time which makes their jobs easier and you know people like when people can make their jobs easier right yeah and so you mentioned your students. What made you want to start as a voiceover marketing coach? You know, I um when I when I started marketing, I I, I started marketing in, in like April of um in April of 2019, mm -hmm. uh, and I had a, a a goal that whole year between 2018 and 20 you know double my income that I made from 2018. I said okay, that's a that's a that's a pretty good number. You know, let, let's try to hit it. So I started marketing in April of 2019. I hit that goal in June. And then I hit, and then I doubled that come September. And marketing was really a big part of that. And when I um, I I I, I volunteered at the vocation conference, which is you know the only voiceover conference that I know of that's for the, for the bit for for the business side of it. Uh, and I was talking to to Karen specifically, who runs the voice actors of NYC group. And um, you know, she I was telling her about my marketing, and she's like, "You got to come teach at the Teachathon." So I taught at the Teachathon, and I kind of became like a go-to person for it. And then when the pandemic hit, um, you know, I knew that it was something that people really needed because, you know, a lot of people, they now had to reach out to find their own clients because, you know, their current clients maybe unfortunately went out of business or their work dried up. And you had a lot of people coming from other avenues of show business who wanted to do voiceover because it was like the one part of show business that didn't fully shut down. Um, so I just, I knew how valuable marketing was for me and uh, I, I, Felt that I wanted to give that back, uh, and there had been like a demand for it um, in the past, and I finally just took the leap and I decided to go for it. So, when you are um, doing your coaching, yeah. what are some of the foundations of what you teach, like the the te the principles of what you believe goes into voiceover marketing? You know, I, I I tell everybody, you know, if you've ever sent an email in your life, if you've ever made a phone call in your life, forget voiceover, you know, whatever it may be, then you know how to market. It really is that simple, and, and I can't tell you how many people come to me and say, I have no idea how to market. I'm terrified of it. You know, what do I do? And I really just want to I, – I want to – I build my coaching off of a base of just simplicity, and, and that's my foundation. And I try to show my students that it really is easy, and it's just really a matter of just asking different questions. You know, it's not this elaborate thing. It can be as elaborate as you want it to be or it can be as simple as you want it to be. There's no right or wrong to marketing. Um, but it really is not as scary as everybody thinks. And I try to instill that into my students, you know, let them know that they don't need to be afraid of it um, because it really, really is very, very simple. And you're honestly, I mean, really the only thing that you can do for a client is make them money. I mean, once they add you to their roster, they already think you're good. You're just another name to give to their clients. And if their clients like the work that you do, then their clients going to keep coming back to them. And so I, I like, to, I like to, to teach my students that, that don't be afraid of it. It's simple. And, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're there to help them out. Gotcha. So what are your primary marketing focuses? Do you focus, what are you excited about when it comes in your inbox? Is it primarily animation or corporate or what, what gets you excited when you see a script come in? I get excited. Honestly, I, 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 I definitely get excited um, for commercial stuff, but also for e-learning stuff. Um, e-learning became a very big part of my business last year, which I, I expect a lot of, um, I suspect a lot, a lot of voiceover actors, you know, encountered that as well last year just because everything going digital so i love the commercial work that i do through marketing you know at&t is one of my weekly clients and that came from marketing through referrals and stuff like that but i love seeing e-learning projects come through because i like learning and a lot of times especially if the subject matter is interesting i have a blast while doing it and a lot of times e-learning work you know it, it's 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 pretty recurring and um so I, th I think that's probably what I get most excited about uh whenever i see something new with e-learning come about because it could potentially mean a long a long-term client Awesome. So outside yeah. of the booth, what do you do to kind of unwind yeah. and recharge your batteries? Video games. <laughs> <laughs> Video games are my, uh, that, they're, that's my anti-drug. That's, uh, I've, I've always, I've always been a gamer, man. And it's so funny. I, I, I was actually, um, I, I, I used to play World of Warcraft and, and, and I was talking to a buddy in the game and I was, you know, talking about how I, I, I'm a voice actor and stuff. He's like, well, what are you doing here? I'm like, dude, you know, I'm, I'm a gamer first and foremost. A lot of us are, 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 are 
are gamers, you know, and this is kind of research for us. Um, yeah, I play video games, man. I, I, I just got a PS5, so I'm going to be tackling that. Um, and besides that, you know, I love, I love hanging out with my wife. Um, you know, and our son, and uh, most recently, my wife and I've been watching Agent Carter, the Marvel show. We're going through all the Marvel shows and movies in chronological order, so it's a big investment. Um, but but video games and, and and hanging out with the wife and son, those are my that's what I do to unwind. Fantastic, man. So, what are some of the biggest resources that have helped you along the way in your voiceover journey? Uh, the community. I mean, that is the biggest resource. Um, surrounding yourself with like-minded people is so important just empowers you, you know, to do your best. And, you know, even when you and I chat, you know, it's, I, I, I don't know about you, but I definitely feel empowered afterwards and we learn from each other. And mm -hmm. um, the community has definitely been my, my most important resource because that's, you know, that's where I've gotten a lot of my, my biggest jobs from is the referrals from the community. That's, you know, where I learned that I wanted to coach direct marketing. You know, it, it's, the community has been my, my biggest resource. Yeah, and without it, honestly, I, I don't know that my business would be where it is now. It's just been, it's been so great to just make, great friends in the, in the, in the, in the industry and just kind of grow together and lift each other up. Absolutely. No, you definitely recharge my batteries, man. I love talking to you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Likewise. So, so if you were to go back before, like write a letter and transport it yeah, back yeah. to before your voiceover days, what would that letter mm -hmm. say? You mean like in like my corporate days or like, uh, like right before yeah. I started voiceover or. Yeah. Like if you were to take, um, take a, take a letter, like write it right now and you're writing it to, to corporate Tom. Yeah. Um, honestly, it, it, it would probably be, don't be so afraid to just take the leap and, and just try this thing that you've been wanting to try and talking about forever. Cause I, I talked about it for a long time before I actually started doing it. Uh, and you know, and performing was not new to me. It wasn't, um, you know, but voiceover came with the added learning curve of, uh, you know, the sound treatment and, uh, you know, editing skills and stuff like that. Um, so I could write a letter to, to, to old Tom before he started voiceover. It'd be, listen, dude, this is going to be the most amazing ride of your life. Just, just do it. Just jump in now, go for it. It's going to, it's going to, it's all going to work out. Gotcha. Okay. So what are yeah. your goals for the rest of this year? What are your personal business goals? So my personal business goal is to double my income again from last year. That's like my overarching goal. Um, other than that, you know, I've been, I've been coaching with J. Michael Collins, who was amazing. Um, so I'm really, really excited to take his coachings and put that more into practice. Um, and other than, you know, I, 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 I achieved a goal that I had been wanting to do where I booked a big uh, SAG campaign for a, a big brand, which I can't wait to talk about once it actually comes out. Um, so other than that, I would say probably to do more uh, more ADR and dubbing and animation and stuff like that. Um, so double my income, put the coachings into, into, into practice and do some more animation and ADR because it became a big part of my business last year and it's so much fun to do. So I definitely want to keep doing it. Awesome, man. And where can people yeah. find you? Uh, I'm on I'm on all the social media platforms, Tom Aglio VO. And if you want to check out my website, it's www.tomaglio.com. Uh, if you're interested in coaching, tomaglio.com forward slash coaching. Um, email and, uh, and, and Twitter and Facebook are probably the best ways to get in touch with me. Fantastic. Thank you for coming on, Tom. Yeah. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, man. This was great. Honestly, I, I ever since you started doing this, I've been watching your show and I, I've, I've been wanting to be on it, so it really is an honor. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad you got value from it. Thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed listening to Tom talk about how he went from corporate America to the trusted voice of multiple brands and businesses and continues to build himself up in his eternal quest to never stop learning. If you would like to know more about him or book his fantastic coaching programs, you can visit him at www.tomaglio.com. Dot com. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to the VoiceOver Coffee Shop. For more information on guests, new episodes, and more, be sure to visit www.vocoffeeshop.com.